Hi everyone! Welcome to part 2 of this tutorial about margin note. In this video, we're going to tackle how to actually annotate a document. So let's get started! So here we are in margin note. I thought that the best way for me to explain would be to actually annotate a document. So I'm going to annotate the margin note uh, manual that you can download on their website. However, I think that this manual is made for the um, OS, iOS version, sorry. So you don't get everything that you need on there, but you still get most of the features covered. So as you can see here, for example, when you are in, in split view or let's just put the kind of notebook view. If you want to see which page you're working on, there is a slider at the bottom of the document, like this slider here. You can see the numbers are changing and the page is loading now. So you can see which page you're actually working on. So when you want to highlight a document, just select the uh, little like hand icon on the bottom and just highlight as you would as normal any document, just like this. Then pick a color, it doesn't matter which color, appear on the contextual menu here. Just pick brown or whatever. And then you can see now that you can change the color of the highlight here. Just click here and change the color of the highlight if you want to. You can also change the style of the highlight. So let's, wait, let's say that I want the green one. And then I want either this type with, it's highlighted but there's also a line underneath or just a highlight or just a line. So I'm just gonna choose this one for, as an example, okay? So now my text is highlighted and what's going on now when you click on the contextual menu you can act, you can either add a note to it. So how does this work? At this stage here when you're going to type you're going to type the title of the note. So I'm going to type example note as a title and press enter. Now you can start adding some text to your notes. So I'm going to say test text. I'll show you what it looks like in a minute. So let's just, so now I'm going to just enter. So let's just click again. So now I've entered a side note. If you want to see the card that is created, once you created your side note, just click here. And this is the card. So as you can see, you have the title of the note. You have the selection that you made and you had the note that was on the sidebar, okay? At this stage, you can either add another note. So if I click here, add another note, okay? And you also have your um, uh, editors at the bottom, you know, text editor is normal, which is pretty cool. So then you press done, so you have a note. You can add a voice note, you can add a picture from the desktop or you can tag your note. Okay, so we can add a voice note. So as you can see, the note is now recording. Okay, so I'm just gonna close it. You can add a picture. So just choose a picture from your desktop and then just add it to your note. So let's just take this one, I don't care. And you can add it to your note here. So you can also add a tag. So I will show you later how to actually um, create a tag, but you just click here and choose the tag that you want to add it, add the note to. What you can also do when you have a card like this is click on the contextual menu here with the three little dots, just click here, and you can add an Evernote note, which is really cool, so just click add Evernote. I've already logged in, but normally you'll be asked to log in, authorize your account as you would in any other app. Then you will choose like, a note of some sort, um, like a, sorry, a notebook that you have. So let's, I don't know, um, there you go. And I will, I want to add a note to that, to my card. So I'm just going to pick a note here and then import. And then my note will then appear on the card. So this is a very, very cool feature. So see my note is here. This is the note that was in Evernote. Okay. And you can see that it's been tagged also. So now if I click on tag, <clears throat> you can see that my tag now appear 
on the actual notes so your Evernote tag will be imported inside of um, margin notes so this is really really cool you can also change the color and the style of the uh, of the card of the box so you can choose yellow you can see in the mind map that the color of the card is changing so whatever you like really green or whatever so you allow you can do that here if you if you copied something on the internet when you else, you can paste it on your note you can copy your note to clipboard you can copy the URL so so I'm going to show you my clipboard so you can see that the URL has been copied to the clipboard this is this is um this is unclutter so just show you the URL this is the URL here now it's on my clipboard so if I'm going to copy it elsewhere in another app or anything else then it's here I can do that it's just copy and paste as normal oops sorry just go back there so if I want so to as you can see the note is now recording sorry this is a voice note so what you can do if you want to access your 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 card you can just double click here or you can uh, so let's just close that or you can choose the okay, menu here so and you have access to the card okay <clears throat> you can also remove the highlight that you've done just erase it or you can delete the card so if you want to change the order of your notes just click on the note that you have made and then wait and you will see that it, it's highlighted you can now move it across so so the same here you have to press and hold for for a second or so okay you can do the same for the image you can move it wherever you like before we move on I wanted to apologize for the noise there's a lot of cars where I live so you will hear trucks and cars once in a while just bear with me so now we're gonna touch on the rectangle feature so just if you want to kind of uh, create a selection just click on the rectangle the square icon on the bottom and you'll be able to do big chunk of uh, selection like this right and as usual you can just click on your selection change the color of the selection to I don't know, brown uh, change the highlight style too so we're just going to change it you can also access the same uh, menu bar here you can add a note you can annotate your selection so if you remember I clicked here earlier so you could see what happened you can annotate your selection so as you can see now annotation menu appeared underneath and it's like the line annotation menu so I'm gonna uh, show you how that works. So here you have a line. This allows you to actually create a straight line. So let's just line something. So I'm gonna line here. So as you can see, it just created a straight line straight away. You can change the style of the line if it's too thick. So let's say I'm gonna make it very thin and I'm gonna make it red. So I can go and, as you can see, underline my selection. Then you can choose if you want to work free-handed so just you can click here for example and you can now create a line you can create a highlight of some sort here change the color as usual by clicking in the palette here and you can erase also the highlight you've done okay so when you're done doing this you click done and now your selection is annotated Kind of internally if that makes sense so click here and the card and you can see that your annotation appears on the card also so you can also use the the line feature i call it the line feature <laughs> don't worry you just click on this icon here and you can underline directly uh, on your text so as i explained before if you want to create a straight line just click here it will create a straight line if you want to change the color of your line just click on the palette change the color and the um, thickness of the line you can also choose a custom color by clicking on the selection tool here and you can uh, choose whatever color you like okay and then trace your line you can have a free-handed line so just click on the ink here and underline or highlight whatever you like and uh, or you can highlight your your document directly from here okay Click done. 
and now your document has been highlighted. If you want to see the card, you can either go on the mind map where the card is visible, it's here, or you can just click on one of the uh, text that you underlined and just color it so that you know that it's a card. So let's color it it's yellow. Yeah. It's just easier for you to see what you selected and just click on the selection and as usual you can have access to the card and do what you need to do in terms of uh, adding any helpful information. So now let's say that I want to add an image to this particular selection. Go in card. I'm just going to add any odd image. What you can do here is also annotate the image. So just click on the image click edit and you can use the same type of annotation tool so I can uh, a circle and arrow change the colors the size etc okay so that allow you to annotate your image straight inside of a card so it's pretty nice so now let's move on and I'm gonna show you some very cool features so I'm gonna show you first a dictionary tool so in order to access this, you need to click on the little hand uh, icon on the bottom and then just pick a word, just um, select a word here. And just now you can either copy, you can um, highlight it, you can add a note as usual. But what you can also do is click on the dictionary here. And now you're able to access um, your dictionary and get a definition of the word. It's really, really nice. You can also open this word in dictionary on your Mac. Let's just close that. So now let's say that I want to research an expression or something or a group of words. Just select the word that you want to research. Click on uh, the G here. And now you have access to Wikipedia, Google, Bing, Quora, Image, and Translate the World. So I'm going to click on Wikipedia because that's pretty cool. And now you can see that you have a Wikipedia page that opens straight inside of the app so you can extend it so you can see what um, results you get. Or you can research the term directly on Google. So just again highlight uh, the word that you want to research and then click on uh, the G. And then let's go on Google now. And now you have access to the word that you were researching. Okay, right inside of the app and if you'd like you can also access uh, Google from there you can either do this you can either do this from a word so let's click again sorry let's select and click again and say so we want to see we want Google so now let's say that I want to see this page online just click on the little navigation bar here and click on whatever uh, this is bumper by the way guys this is called bumper it's an application it allows you to pick in which browser you want to open the link so it's pretty nice so let's say that I want to open it here and now I can see the same page on Google so that's cool the other way for you to let's just close this is the other way for you to access Google from here directly is click on the little dots up here and just go to web browser and you will have a browser that appears directly inside of the application. You can um, go straight again on the bottom. You can go straight online. You can uh, add a bookmark here. So now I'm going to show you how to add a bookmark to your notes. So I'm going to change the book because with this one's not going to work. I'm going to choose the manual for um, margin note. Okay. And I'm going, I like the split view, so <laughs> yeah, this is what I prefer. So let's say that I want to add a bookmark to a particular page. So let's just go to page 60. And I want to bookmark this page. I'm going to click on the three little dots on the right hand corner here and click on add bookmark. And this bookmark will now be added to this particular menu here. So where can you find this menu? I'm going to show you again. Just click on this uh, icon here to have access to this menu here. So what can you find here? You can find the outline of your PDF. Okay. Just click here. You can find 
and outline of the entire PDF so you know where you are at. You can look for a particular item. You can see all the pages in a thumbnail way so you can see the entire PDF here. You can see it's a pretty big manual. And you can also see obviously your bookmarks. Okay, so I have page 49 bookmark and page 60 bookmark. So this is how you add a bookmark to your note. When you bookmark a page, a tag is automatically created called bookmark. So if you want to look for the bookmark page on the outline view, which is this view here, okay, or the mind map view, just go on and search the tag. So go on, on this um, text box here and write bookmark. And you can see that now the page that I bookmarked uh, are highlighted. So, you know, that's the, the tag. The page that I, that I have bookmarked are highlighted in the mind map view and the outline view. You see, this is the page that I have highlighted here. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, there will be more video coming a bar margin note covering the mind map view, the outline view. So please stay tuned for the rest of the videos. Uh, I will have a surprise coming up soon for you. In the meantime, I wish you the best day ever. Please don't forget to subscribe. Okay, just click that button. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.